the city school students will be masking back up for school. That decision will be made soon. The announcement was made not even one week after TCS students returned to the classroom from winter break. Students, faculty and support staff have all been impacted by this surge. And this thing is giving us the same staffing challenge it's giving to every everybody in business and industry and certainly in education. Um, we had one day here recently where we had a fill rate of 48% uh, for our teachers. Um, Fortunately, we work with so many amazing educators that they take care of things. They cover uh, where they need to cover and they fill in and that has been terrific. It's allowed us to keep teaching and learning going, but the staffing challenges are there. We have a couple of schools where we're close um, to, to being um, kind of at the edge of, of being able to continue school. Um, right now we're okay. Tuscaloosa City School System announced Monday that masks will be required if the two week case average of COVID-19 is above 1% by January 14th. We're using the th same threshold to go back into masks if we're above that 1% two week average. Right now we are trending to be above that average. We'll look at that this coming Friday. And if we do have a two week average, which is an average of last week and this week on our student cases, we will notify our families that we will go back to masks required. At that point, we'll monitor for another two weeks, and if the two-week average is 1% or below, we'll move back to masks optional or keep them on if it's above that 1%. Many parents and grandparents we spoke with on and off camera are on board with the decision and have a better safe than sorry mentality. It's convenient because with ones that's not vaccinated, it's still to protect the ones that are vaccinated. So keep your mask on. Tuscaloosa City Schools currently has around 11,000 students enrolled in the system. As of today, 197 of those students were out positive or due to exposure.